Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a table to a blog post on a Wix website. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Wix tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before I get started, this is a new feature that Wix recently released. They actually released this into general availability on September 30th. They have a portal that you can actually go to request new features and also to vote on features that other users have requested. If you actually vote on a feature or request a new feature, then you'll receive this email. You can actually see it. Uh, it indicates that, hey, we've now pushed this feature that you requested out and you can actually click the link to the product documentation. Now I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to add a table to a blog post and then I'll also preview what it looks like when you're accessing your website or your blog posts on a desktop computer and a mobile device so you can actually see what that experience is. Now let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now before I actually show you how to add a table to a blog post, I will quickly preview it for you so you can actually see what it looks like when you include a table on a blog post. So you can see here, I'm currently previewing a blog post that I created on my website and I am previewing this with the desktop experience. So this is what your visitors will see if they are visiting your blog post from a desktop computer. So you can see it's pretty clean uh, and you can see here you can put all kinds of rich content into the cells. So I've actually gone ahead and put a GIF in the first cell. You can see here I have some standard text uh, and then again more text and I actually highlighted the particular cell here at the end of the table. Now very quickly I will switch to the mobile preview so you can actually see what this looks like um, on mobile. Now you will be required to kind of scroll from left to right if your table is wider than a mobile device screen. Uh, so when I actually scroll down here, you can see the table renders pretty nicely. It's pretty clean, uh, but because my columns expand past the width of the mobile device in order to see the full table, I will still have to uh, scroll over using the scroll bar on the actual mobile device. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, long overdue feature. Now let's go check out how to actually add a table to a blog post. All right, so to add a table to a blog post, you want to actually come into your draft blog and you wanna place your cursor on the blog and you want to go ahead and click on this plus sign. This is going to bring up the add menu and you can see here now under the elements group, there is this option to insert a table. So you wanna go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to be asked how many columns and how many rows you want to include in your table. After you select the column and row counts, you want to go ahead and click create table. And you can see here that the table has now been added. So just in terms of orientation, if you actually click on the element, you can see here I have this plus sign. If I click on this, this is a quick way to add in new rows. And if I click on the plus sign here, this is a quick way to add in a new column. Now, if you actually want to add text into the cells of your table, you want to click on the table and then you want to just click into a cell and you'll see here that this formatting box comes up. So I'll just uh, start typing, this is text, and I can fully um, tab over and click off of that cell to actually save that value. Now, when you actually click on the cell, again, you have the option to change uh, and format the text. So you can see here, I can bold this, italicize it, uh, change the font color. Um, I could even include numbered lists if I wanted to. You can also change the alignment just like you would in you know, Google Sheets or Excel, for example. Uh, you can change line spacing, indentation. So you have the same ability to format text in your cells as you would in a spreadsheet tool. Now I'm gonna click on the go back button. Um, the next thing you'll notice here is the alignment button. So if you actually click on this, again, you have the option to change the alignment of the cell. So if I want this to be uh, you know, in the middle, the top or the bottom, I can go ahead and do that. Um, I can also change the background color of the cells. So if I wanted to go ahead and make this cell red, I can easily do that from this background color tab. Um, and you also have the ability to change and configure the borders. So again, to do that, you just want to click on uh, the border option. And again, you can change the color of the lines and the borders um, as you see fit. 
So that is all in terms of editing. You'll see here also just the three dots so you can actually clear or select an entire row or column. Um, now what's really cool about this feature is if you actually double click into a cell, uh, what you're gonna see is this little plus sign. Uh, and if you click on this, you also have the ability to again, add in rich elements. So that's right, you can actually add in images, uh, videos, you can add in a SoundCloud track, uh, dividers, GIFs like we saw in the preview. Um, you can add in code snippets and files. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly add in an image here by clicking on that option. This is going to bring up the media storage on your Wix website and I'll just go ahead and grab a subscribe button and I will add that. And you can see here, because I've added an image, I can actually also change the formatting using some of these pre-configured options as well. So I'll just click off of the cell completely and you'll see here that that image is placed nicely and it's formatted nicely right in the cell. Now, as I mentioned, you can add all kinds of rich elements. You just wanna double click on the cell and click on the plus sign. Uh, again, if you wanted to go ahead and add a video, you could do that. Uh, and just for fun, I'll go ahead and add a GIF and this is going to allow you to actually display dynamic GIFs on your page as we saw in the preview. So I'll just go ahead and select this happy birthday gift and there you go. Uh, you can see that here. Now just very quickly, if I wanna go ahead and preview this, Again, when you're working in Wix, you have the option to preview your blog post and you can actually preview in desktop and mobile view. And again, you can see what your visitors will see when they actually navigate to this blog post, a clean table here. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to add a table to a blog post on a Wix website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Wix tutorials that I published. I'm Louis Acabellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.